Welcome to part two of what a man can do if his partner has lost interest in sex. We've had men writing in saying that their partners have lost interest after they've had a baby. This seems to be relatively common. What's happening there? Well, look, children are not an aphrodisiac, you know. <laughs> and and, and we, the woman's tired. Um, and all of her emotional goodness is being, you know, sucked, well, <laughs> and physically too, yeah. the baby at breast, but even with toddlers too. And so she starts to think of sex as another chore, yeah. as another drain of her, rather than as a, a way to revitalise her. And so, you know, I guess that the man has to start to think of ways to lighten up her load. Mm -hmm. You know, arrange with your mother um, to come over and, and let you both go out. You know, start dating again. Um, give her some kid-free time. And then I think you'll find that the spark in her eyes will come back. When a man feels rejected um, again and again and again, the same with a woman, it can actually make them look further afield, can't it? Is this your experience? Well, look, um, they say that 60% of people meet at work mm -hmm. and, um, and we know that uh, by working in close proximity, we do tend to, um, to, to, you know, get strong feelings. And so if a guy's in a situation at work where um, there's another woman who's um, warm, friendly, um, uh, could be, you know, easily um, open mm. to having some kind of an affair, well, it'd probably be hard for him to knock it back. That's really tough, isn't it? Mm. I think I think it's a tough one on both sides because obviously the woman, for some reason, is seeing the relationship in such a way that sexually she's no longer interested. So that's one element. And so she must be missing out on something there as well, mustn't she? Well, women love the intimacy. Mm. Um, and uh, in fact, you know, there's that saying... Um, uh, into me I see yes. that when the woman opens herself up to make love there's a real sense of trust and and that sense of caring connection mm. and so if she's not getting that as well as you know the thrill of the pleasure of the orgasm yes. then she is ripping herself off and I think that's enough to make you depressed yes it would be and then the man obviously is is trying to deal with that I mean I, I know a friend of mine who was sort of almost near a breakdown because his wife had pretty much given up on sex and he was he just was at his wits end as to work out how to deal with it because he'd spoken to her about it and she said yes I'm interested in sex but nothing ever happened so what do you say to guys who are going through that he didn't want to have an affair he didn't want to go somewhere else he wanted to have sex with his wife well I mean as long as um she would be willing and perhaps women are more willing to talk um, perhaps to get her in to see uh, at least a relationship expert um, if she wouldn't see a sex therapist and of course if the guy could be willing to meet her needs as she expresses them mm -hmm. then you know with what we call reciprocity um, then you know it's really um, uh, just a willingness for her to want to start to be sexual with him again but sometimes you do need a good coach they mm. say if, the, if you have conflict for um, a repeated one hour periods, then you should get a coach. Yeah, yeah. So, success stories. Do you have any for us so that people at least can see the light at the end of the tunnel on this one? Well, I, I know that some guys have just simply um, gone to the sex shop and bought their, their lady a vibrator. Um, because if she's never had an orgasm and she's kind of turned off the idea of sex as being pleasure, if he encourages her and gives her permission to incorporate the vibrator as part of their sex, and she's you know, more likely to say, hey, um, that, that is fun. Um, see, because a lot of women will stop having sex because it takes too long. Yes. <laughs> you know, and um, because they like to multitask, they're just too busy doing too many things. Um, so I've had some men find some success. I've also had some, you know, she said, take that ugly thing away. And, yeah, I think you know, you're yeah, running she, the risk there, aren't you? Well, you are. But that's why if, it's a, if the therapist is making these suggestions, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a way, a path to mediation yeah. where, you know, she can't just be so rude as to say, no, I won't. Um, success story is taking her on a holiday. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, as tacky as it sounds, buying her a diamond doesn't hurt either. <laughs> But you know what? Uh, also, a man could learn, uh, take up a massage course. Learn to be good with your hands. You know the song, I want yes. a lover with slow hands? Mm. You know, and start with massaging her head, asking her to sit between your legs on the floor when you're watching telly. 
um, and with a good head massage, you know, gradually moving your hands lower and lower, I think you won't get so much resistance. That's so a that's good a good idea. investment. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Jan. Really appreciate that advice. My pleasure. I hope it was helpful. And we'll see you next time. Your love life. Let's talk about it at naomishow.com.